Tagatha. Who's been messing up everything? The Covenless Witch. It's been Agatha all along. <laughs> no. What really happened to you? Brittany Murphy from Geeks of Color. Hi, Joe and Catherine. How are you today? Hi. Great, thanks. So my first question for you, firstly, fabulous performance yesterday at D23. So what was it like getting on that stage and performing the song? Terrifying for me. <laughs> you did amazing. Broadway star, by the way. No. Oh, Incredible. I don't know. I thought that would help me prepare, but I was really nervous. There's a lot of people. There's a lot of people, but I think it went really well. As soon as I could get through that fog, <laughs> then I felt, ah, it felt very, the fans support really mm. kind of made us bigger for sure i yeah. felt like a i felt very powerful up there it was fun really fun to just also feel the energy from the audience was like great and i also think they didn't really know it was us until we no. took our hoods great. off so that was really fun i think that once the show is out and everyone learns the words to the song you guys should do an, another performance and then yeah. the whole will be singing along with yeah. you. Mm -hmm. I agree. So my first question is for Joe. Um, what was it like when you heard that you, you know, you got the role of teen and that you'd be joining the series? I mean, honestly, when I actually found out, there was mostly relief because I'd done like eight, <laughs> nine auditions by that point. So I was so invested that I was like, if I don't get this part, it's going to break me. Mm. Um, but obviously I was extremely excited and, you know, I had I'd put so much into the auditions that I wanted it so bad and you know I think Teen is like he's my dream role um and to do it with these amazing amazing witches was just the best amazing and for Catherine what was it like for you stepping back into the role of Agatha this time around I mean just to get that phone call that they were interested in making a show around this centuries old witch that no one had really heard of from the comics <laughs> was very <laughs> surreal and then when I got to hear from Jack the kind of overall arc of the show that she was thinking, which was like, which was so delicious. I always had thought that that's a part that I would like really love to get inside of again and like poke around. I was absolutely thrilled. Yeah. I knew it'd be so fun and I knew it would just, like WandaVision, it would just take me on like a crazy creative ride. And that's what it was. And she's a witch. I mean, how can you not want to do it? Exactly. And so your characters kind of have this love-hate relationship. It starts a little rocky. So what was it like for the two of you filming the scenes together and building that rapport with each other? It's fun. It's fun. I don't know. Getting to play all those different layers is, is you know, as an actor, it's really great to have play such complicated characters that have different emotions. It's really nice. He blew me away, like from our, that we had a chemistry read, and I just remember being like, he just blew me away. And then we had some, like, you know, some rehearsals, and I just immediately, like, just fell for him as a human. Like, I was like, I just adored him. It just felt like there was an instant trust. Mm. And so we could go to all these different parts of their relationship pretty easily. Like yeah. it was, I felt like we had like a musical language almost that we could so, just, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like go to different places that were, you know, it wasn't all, you know, sweet. Yeah. For sure. Thank you both so much for your time and congrats on the series. You're both fantastic. Thank, Thank you. you. Have a good one.